we basically try to sound like a set at all times. Even when we're on the street with it just being me on the snare drum, short on the bass and the cymbal, still try to make it sound like one person. My cymbal basically is used for timing. I keep the timing to keep the time on the cymbal because I'm playing on a two and four, and this is basically playing on a one and two. Sometimes I switch it up and play a three, four. So I do different things within this. Some of the guys in the band say, man, without the cymbal, man, it throws me off. And I'm like, without the cymbal, I don't have no time. Without so that like, cymbal, yeah. I'm through. I'm, the cymbal. <laughs> I'm like the rest of the cats. <laughs> <laughs> and it pretty much, it, it can cut through almost anything because I'm playing a cymbal with a screwdriver. This is another story too. One night we were playing the Maple Leaf. Our trumpet player, Derek Shasby, he said, man, you have nothing to play the cymbal with. I said, no. He said, hold on. So he goes to his car. Pulls out a screwdriver. I said, screwdriver? He said, yeah, man, just use that. So I started playing the cymbal with the screwdriver, and I continue to play it that way because when you hit the cymbal with the screwdriver, you have metal on metal, it sounds like a rock hitting water. If you ever out near the lake, and you throw a rock in water and you're real close to it, it makes a, a real fine splash, like, just like that. And if we're playing real loud, you can hear this little splash over everything. It's, it's, it cuts through anything. And so I say, well, that's, that's pretty cool, so I'm going to just stay with the screwdriver on the cymbal. It's not a weapon. People think it's a weapon. No, it's not a weapon. My, yeah, it's like, it was no, it's not a weapon. Mine is totally different. I, I just wanted to be different. I like, I like the set. I like to play the set. But you can't play the set in the brass band because he didn't took the bass drum. And he got... <laughs> so, in other words, you get bored with that one drum. Yes. Yeah, I get bored fast. I like to... Air drums. Sometimes you might come here and see me with, <laughs> with uh, tum tum drums and cowbells and all kind of other stuff. But the cymbals are something that I keep most of the time on stage gigs, mainly because it gives a different element to the sound. It makes it sound more like a set right. than of just two guys on drums. And a lot of people will come up there and ask, you know, if they they hear the band from the back and they can't really see, they'll, they'll be like, man. I, what was that? Y'all playing the set up there? I don't see the set, the bass drum and the hi hat. There's just two cymbals, a snare drum and a bass drum, That's and it. a hi hat cymbal. And we try to make that sound as close as possible to a, a set. And we do a lot of funk rhythms using that. As a matter of fact, we don't do a funk rhythm and we can show them yeah. how we implement that. Then we go into the full little songs and we, we out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to show it.